Hey guys, I'm Lawrence from Iwoda Cosplay, and today I'm going to show you guys how I made Bakugo's knee pads. So the first thing you'll need is the knee pad pattern. You'll need a sharpie and needles to pin down the pattern. Next, you'll need a bevel cutter, blade sharpener, and your usual utility knife. Here I'm going to use a half inch EVA foam to make the knee pad. Pin the pattern down and trace like so. Once you're done tracing, you should have something like this. Now for this build, you might need a bevel cutter. It's not necessary, but it helps a lot. If you want to pick one up, Cosplaycraft sells one. I'll have a link in the description down below. The first time I built this, I didn't have a bevel cutter and it came out fine. So if you don't want to own one or purchase one, that's okay too. But for the sake of this tutorial, I want to build this with a bevel cutter. Here I'm just sharpening my blade so I will have a clean cut. Here's my first test cut. It didn't cut all the way through, so that tells me I need to elongate my blade. So the bevel edges will be these dart pieces right here. I recommend starting from the center of the dart outward. Here I'm separating the foam to make things easier to work with. Here I go with my first bevel cut, starting from the center. Make sure to apply pressure on the angled side of the bevel cutter for a consistent cut. With the first pass, you should have something that looks like that. Now it's time for the other side. Make sure you don't cut past the pattern piece. Like I said earlier, I haven't used a bevel cutter for this build, so there are certain things I didn't predict, such as this corner of the pattern right here. I ended up using a utility knife to finish off this corner. Now this cut is tricky because you want to keep the bevel consistent on both sides of the edges and then taper off at the end of this corner. Now we just have to do that for the rest of these slits. For the rest of these slits, I used a bevel cutter and a regular utility knife to make the bevel edges. Now that all the slits are cut, we can start cutting the rest of the pattern. Just a side note, these edges are not intended to be beveled. Now it's time to cut these inner details. For these details, I'm only going to cut halfway around the shape. Once I have my first pass done, I'm going to come back with my utility knife and cut all the way through the foam in a saw-like manner. By cutting halfway around the circle, you can push the area you cut to create this indent detail. Do that for the rest of them, and you should have something like this. The valley from the bevel edges you made should converge at the center of the back of the knee pads like this. With all the edges cut properly, the knee pad should fold up like this. Heat seal it with a heat gun, make sure the lid is tight, and then shake your contact cement for optimal adhesion. Apply a thin coat of contact cement to these edges. Wait a few minutes before putting the edges together. When you put your edges together and they begin to pull like this, that's a sign that you need to put more contact cement and wait a little bit longer. So after about 5 minutes, I think I'm ready to put the edges together. So like any other foam project, just take your time putting these edges together. This is contact cement, you only have one chance. For this bottom part of the knee pad, there is a flare. In order to do that, I'm going to have to push the foam up as I put the edges together. Once you have all the edges together and press the indentation in, you should have something that looks like this. Grab a hot glue and weld the indentation detail like so. I realized I didn't like the shape of the knee pad because it was too protruding, so I'm just flying it down like so. Here I'm grabbing a brass rod and sharpening one of its edges to make the final details of the knee pads. I'll have a link in the description for this brass rod. Here I'm punching out circles on 2mm foam. Here I'll make 1, 2, 3, 4, that's bad because the brass rod is dull, so I'll have to sharpen it again, and 5 circles. I'm just going to stick these details on using some super glue. Alright, we're almost done. You should have something that looks like this. Here's a product I use to smooth out the edges or seam lines of my foam work. I'll have a link in the description as well. This is a water-based material in which you can apply to the seams to fill in the gaps and then smooth it out with some water. It doesn't have as much flexibility as Quick Seal, however, it doesn't shrink either. So using a combination of Quick Seal and this product, you can have some really good results. And that's it for this build. That's Bakugo's knee pad. I hope it wasn't too long or complicated. Just this is the plastic version. Just give us some love, and you'll get something that looks like that. I know that took forever to get to, since you guys have been requesting that tutorial build for about I think since last year. But I finally got time to it. Uh, I'm trying to be more consistent with my YouTube tutorials. This tutorial is actually uh, me holding myself to those words. But other than that, that's it. Uh, if, I'll have the link to all those tools and materials I've used for this build in the description down below. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I have new tutorials every Tuesday. And make sure you comment if you have any questions down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.